Good morning, Russ. Hey. Are you ready for us? Looks like we came just in time. Yeah, we just finished another run. Oh, good. All right. Looks like it, this aisle, this aisle got stopped over by the bakery down there. They're all lining up to get samples. So, well, you're not gonna lose that pen. No. <laughs> that thing's huge. Is that why you have it? Because you always are looking around for a pen. Where's this pen? Where's the pen? Yeah, I can imagine. Gets crazy back here, huh, in the booth? It does. It gets real crazy. Yeah, you guys have a lot of great stuff. I didn't really get a chance to look at your stuff, Diane. Um, I'm really excited to interview you. Do you make these soaps or are you reselling them? And I do. Um, she's from Camp Verde and we call her the crazy goat lady. So that's why this is all all done with um, and it's all natural. And uh, I supply the goats and she she has the recipes. OK, so she's got all the secrets. <laughs> gotcha. So how many goats do you have? Uh, we have eight. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice small number. You don't have to, you're not out there all day milking. No, no. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> it, eight's enough, right? It's eight's enough. <laughs> and you make all this soap and you make milks and stuff like that too? Yes, we do. No, no, no cheese or anything like that. We used to do that and we stopped doing it. But what we do, we do soaps. We do hydrating mists. We do body butters. We do flip-flop balms. Um, we do lip balms. Wait, what's a flip-flop balm? It's for your feet. Oh. And uh, you, for like uh, in the summertime when your feet get kind of dry and, and um, sometimes they crack, um, it's, it's for the feet. So you just rub it on and, and softens them right up. Like. What do you usually put in there? Like what's the main ingredient? Is it um, shea butter or? Well, we, yes. Uh, the ingredients are all listed on, on everything, and we get our fragrances from the oil farm in Sedona. So, And how we get the different fragrances is that we cross them, and so we come up with different um, you know, smells for everybody, and they get kind of unique. And uh, Terry, who's my friend from Camp Verde that does, um, helps do all this, uh, she thinks up of all the crazy names <laughs> oh so she names them she like puts the scents together yeah. um did you guys does she do like custom blends too for people if they have a special request or oh uh, we haven't done that yet but uh, people aren't very creative these days they have no imagination they're like i'll just go on facebook or watch a show and that'll tell me what to do with my life right but we do body butters and lotions and we do um uh, body scrubs and we also do um body with body butters and body lotions with calendula in uh, ingredients in there for anybody that's got anything itchy going on <laughs> eczema or what whatever so yeah calendula is a very medicinal plant and it's very soothing for the skin yes yes and so um, and we do I don't bring it all here because I just don't have the room but we also do shampoos and and uh, conditioners uh, Oh, come on. That's like really what I'd be interested in, actually. We're, we're just branching out, and um, she's uh, really been doing a lot of research and, and stuff on different ideas and stuff, so we're really going gangbusters on all of this. So it's, it's, it's been interesting. It's been interesting. I'm really enjoying this interview. Hey, does anybody have any questions? Christy, Serene, I don't know if you guys are watching. Who's, who's watching? Anybody? I don't know. But, hey, whoever is watching, uh, just let us know what kind of questions you have about goat's milk soaps um these awesome lotions do you have any uh samplings that i can take like try some samples on my hands or yes. uh, we have sa we have samples set out in front oh, oh and i forgot to mention we also do um prickly pear face moisturizer so and all the ingredients like i say are listed on on the containers and of and uh the, the difference between the lotions and the body butters is, is that we use more shea butter in the body butters than we do in the lotions, so that therefore it makes them a lot thicker and richer. So um, yeah, the body butter is like something you just put on like once a day, and then the lotions are like your maintenance kind yeah, of. Yeah, after a shower or whatever, you know. Uh, so, but yeah, it's it, and then we have some. We on holidays we do gift items, you know, too, and we kind of get a little creative with designs on some of those that you see there. And we put them in little bags and, you know, kind of make them look all pretty and, and, and what have you. Yeah, they're nice and cute. I like them. Awesome. And then we do 
emu and emu products as well. We've been doing the emus for 15 years. We raise them. How many emus you got? Uh, we used to have as high as 80. Now we're down to, we scaled down. We sold a lot of them. Um, we're down to 12. And they're just our breeders right now. So... Oh, so people come to buy emus from you? Oh, yes. Uh, the last big group we sold, uh, came a gentleman came from New Mexico, Albuquerque, New Mexico, and bought the birds. Hey, anybody that wants some emus, <laughs> this is the way to go. And you guys are up in Paulden. Yes, Paulden, Arizona, which is 30 miles north of Prescott. And we're about 25 miles south from I-40. So oh, that's yeah, that's good. That's yeah. kind of easy to get to, especially if you're shopping for livestock. You guys do goats, too, or...? Uh, we do the goats primarily for, for the goat products, but the emus, we do emu products, we do emu oil, which is pure emu oil. Whoa, and, hey. Um, it has very high healing properties. We have, uh, do some lip balm, and then we do the fresh emu eggs and also blown out eggs, and you can do craft work with right now the two that are in the case an artist from Montana painted them for me and they're also up for grabs if anybody wants them you know those things are beautiful guys come check them out those are really really nice um, do you guys sell those cases too no no <laughs> no <laughs> that is just for display and then of course um, I've been farming born and raised on a farm in North Dakota so I've been a farm girl all my life and so uh, we so much more going on out here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, How much is this bottle of emu oil? This one here is it's a one ounce. Yeah, one ounce is $17, and it's pure. And um, if you have... Uh, this is the best carrier oil, guys. Like, if you use essential oils, um, you definitely want to use emu oil. Uh, you can mix it with other oils. A little bit of this goes a long way. Yes, it's very concentrated. And um, if you have any scarring, uh, or, I mean... Uh, cuts, abrasions. I've used it on my face for ever since we've done the birds and uh, we just, it has, it's very, it's very useful and for many different things really. Um, so we've had very good reports on it and um, we have some lotion and with the emu oil as well and what ha what it is is we have we're affiliated with a company that comes and picks up the birds oh and takes them back and process them to get the products gotcha so you guys don't have to do that at your place no no i don't want to jump through all those hoops <laughs> yeah i know there's a lot going in i'm just trying to like, like be able to dehydrate citrus chips right now and it's like going to cost 750 bucks just to get it set up plus this long process of assessing the products and going back and forth yeah but hey I really I really appreciate what you guys are doing Diane this is amazing stuff I I'm really good to know a local Arizona source for emu oil yes um, uh, right now uh, we just primarily do it at farmers markets at the moment um, you guys don't have a website no and we're working on that but um, it's been a lot through word of mouth actually because we've done it for so long so it just kind of well, and you guys are a one-stop shop. You know, you can come here and just shop for everything you would normally get at a farmer's market, pretty much. Well, I mean, generally, generally goes on to say that we're kind of a mini Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, and, um, but aside from that, then uh, we do different kinds of eggs. So we do chicken eggs. Yeah, I'm going to go over and talk to Russ about that. Okay. But, hey, you got people that are interested in your stuff, so I don't want to take up. We've already been talking for like 10 minutes, I think. So, okay. I, But you did an awesome job. I really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. All right, and then, um, yeah, guys, so come on down. This is the only place. They've got some of their products over with uh, Lily Mae's Pickled Garden at the Uptown Farmer's Market. You can catch them in Sedona on Sundays. And then uh, I'm just waiting for Russ to finish up. They're really busy here. I mean, once 10 o'clock rolls around, they're just getting slammed. They've got everything. They've got pecans, quail eggs, duck eggs, turkey eggs, emu eggs, ostrich eggs. Um, they've got quail eggs that are pickled, which I really, really want to try one of those. Um, they've got worm tea, worm castings. They've got garlic, scallions, onions. So, yeah, this is the green man here with Lucky Bee Acres with Hi. Russ. How you doing? Yeah, um, we started about uh, in 1998, so it's uh, about 19 years, and uh, we had uh, 36 acres, and uh, we... Um, 
started out just with the vegetables and then we uh, progressed into the everything we have now. What is the, what's the B stand for? Lucky B, what's that? Um, Barnes. Oh, that's your last name. <laughs> Got it. Okay, I'm wondering. Yeah, okay, yeah. Cool. Um, I think she's already told you about the emus. We have uh, nuts from Camp Verde, uh, pecans. They're really good. They're harvested in uh, late November, early December. They've got a nice nutty, creamy taste to them. Um, people buy them and they get addicted to them. <laughs> they oh, yeah. Come back and come back. back. Yeah, I like to use them to make like um, pecan milk. Have you ever done that where you just blend them up and then yeah. you screen it out? Yeah, and, and the butter is really good. Oh, you've done the butter too? What do you do to make that? Um, you have to ask her. She does it? Dang it. All right, I'll ask her later. All right. And anybody, if you have any questions, whoever's watching, you know, let us know for Russ. If you have any questions about, you know, how they do their eggs, you know, they got emu, quail, chicken, turkey, ostrich? No ostrich. Oh, just the emu. Now, the emu eggs, it takes uh, two hours and 15 minutes to hard boil. Hey, I think we got a customer. You can come in here. It's We're, we're, we're winging it today. Um, we also do turkey, duck, and goose eggs. Oh, I, I was missing the duck. Quail. And, and before long here, hopefully within about a month or so, we're hoping to have peacock eggs. Ooh, wow. I didn't know you ate, ate peacock eggs. Yummy. So, yes. Yeah, so, anyway. Are, these, are those colorful, too? Do you know? They're actually as big as a uh, duck or turkey egg, really, and which are they're, they're bigger than what... Uh, I expected them to be, so we're kind of anxious and waiting for that to yeah. start happening here. So, well, I want to see. So these are the emu eggs, right? Yeah. Wow, look at, look at the Takes that. two hours and fifteen minutes to hard boil it. Two hours and fifteen minutes to hard boil this. All right, guys. Yeah. Are, are so they, do they taste? Book, you know, take your time. Okay. Uh, and most people want to. It's it's high in protein, higher in protein than a, than a chicken egg. So it's a, a good baking egg, uh, like for uh, pies, cake, breads. But you can eat it like a regular egg. Um, if you make an omelet, uh, it fluffs up real nice, or a fatata or a quiche, anything like that. This will feed like four people. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it looks like it. <laughs> Great. So which ones are the um, goose eggs? Goose eggs, we don't have any today. Okay. They just started laying, so we'll probably have those next week. They're coming out of their winter hibernation yeah. kind of. Mm -hmm. The ducks also, and the turkeys. We, we usually have all of those. but uh, And the, the duck eggs, uh, we, uh, we have people take orders on them because we, they're, they're so rare, and uh, we have such a demand that we just have to have people call us and, and reserve them. How do people get a hold of you? We have uh, business cards that they can uh, email us or... or um, you want to shout out your email and your phone number now in case anybody wants to call you later? So you can make orders? Email. Okay. It's under Diane Shimke at msn.com and the phone number is 928-636-4793. Yeah, okay, folks, that's the only way you can get this stuff right now. Their website's not up yet. They're only at the farmer's markets. And I also might want to add that we have our, all of our fowl is free range. So they're on 16 acres, and we're not certified organic, but we practice organic, okay? So uh, we, when we have to supplement, we use organic feed. Okay, so yeah, if they're not getting enough food off the land, you guys bring in organic feed. Right. Wow. Right. That's good. I love that. Yeah, I appreciate that. I'm going to be buying some eggs, too, then. I just ran out. How much is it for the uh, dozen and a half? Uh, 9.50. All right, I'm gonna get one of those for sure. Awesome, I'm really excited. So um, I see you've got some other stuff here. Yeah, we have. Uh, usually we have more vegetables, but we're up north, so we're just finishing up our our growing season. Uh, usually we have uh, uh, potatoes, uh, onions, uh, garlic, and uh, there's shallots. And we also have a lot of people don't know about uh, sunchoke. What's that? It's a um, like a potato. It's substitute for a potato. If you uh, uh, you can put it in a stew or a roast, substitute it for a potato. It's also um, good sautéed. It's, it brings out the sweetness. It's good for your digestion. It's also good for um, uh, people with diabetes. It helps helps their uh, sugar balance. Interesting. So it's got enough fiber to like eat up the sugar, so it doesn't hurt their cells. I like to I like to eat it raw. Put it in a salad, like you slice it up like a, you would a radish. Can I try a little chunk? Yeah, sure. Let me do it in a small one. Yeah, I'm gonna try this. I know. People ask me how it tastes, and I I can't describe it. Yeah, I can't describe it. Oops, I accidentally muted the mic. Mmm. 
Yeah, it's really sweet. Yeah, and when you saute it, it even brings out more of the sweetness to it. Oh man, how much are these? They're four dollars a pound. That's not bad. Oh my gosh! All right, I'm getting that and some eggs. Should I buy the eggs like right now, or is that all you have left? Or no, I have more. Well, 18 pack. That's the last 18 pack. So. If that's what you want, I'll put it aside. Yeah, I want it for sure. Yeah. Okay, I'll put it aside. I'll be able to, after I hand the thing off to Nikisi, she'll go to the next person and I can buy it from you. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, I appreciate what you guys do. I wanted to talk about the, uh, we also have catnip, which is an herb. And most people buy it for the cats. It kind of a, a drug for the cats. Yeah. But it's also good for people. If you have dr- trouble sleeping, put it, make a tea out of it. Mm. Put you right under yeah, because I've been using a valerian root. I've been adding a little bit of that to my teas. But if I did that with that. This looks real good. I never knew about that. Yeah, I always just feed it to the cats. It's so fun to watch them. It's worth it. Like, you give it to the cats, and they get all high and run around. When I package this up, uh, I'm in our barn, and um, I have to put it in a sealed container. Or one day I got, I was doing it, and I got called away, and I come back. He had two bags ripped open and feet up in the air, eyes rolling. and he's, oh. <laughs> That's so hilarious. Yeah, so you want to tell us a little bit about your worm tea and castings? Okay, yeah, the worm tea, that is a, uh, it's a plant fertilizer. It comes from the castings, and the castings are about seven times higher nutrients than normal fertilizer. Yeah. And uh, it's all organic. You could pour a whole bottle on a, on a plant, and it wouldn't kill it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I mean, it's not like when you buy miracle Grow and they're like, don't put too much, you'll yeah. fry it. Yeah, no, same way with the castings. You, can, you can't overdo it, you know, and... Um, yeah, the more the merrier with this stuff, guys. It, it goes a long way, but at the same time, you can't overdo it. And the, the good thing about the tea also is that it also works as a bug repellent. You can oh. put it on your plants. It doesn't kill the bugs, but it keeps them away. So uh, it has a dual purpose there. Man, that's awesome. And, I, and, you, and you can drink it. You, you can, no, no. I mean, you don't want to drink a lot of it, but it's not going to kill you if you drink it. No, but I, I, I wouldn't want to try it. I'll, I'll drink it okay. one of these days for you guys just to then show we you. We also have the um, worm factory. And this is a, uh, a stackable migrating system. You start in the bottom, and it'll start building up with castings. When it gets about an inch from the top, you stop feeding this tray and start feeding the next tray, uh, and the worms migrate up. And then they just leave your uh, your castings behind. That's really awesome. How how much is your tower? It comes with a pound of worms, all the bedding material, and it's hundred and thirty dollars. Awesome. And how much was the castings like for this? Uh, it depends on the size. We have from one pound to uh, fifteen pounds. We can sell as much as a, a ton. Uh, and the, the oh, how much of a ton? I'm actually working on a big project. Uh, I think it's about five hundred dollars. Awesome. Okay. Cool, man. Well, hey, we really appreciate your time, Russ. It looks like you're getting slammed, so we're gonna let you go. Okay. I really appreciate what you do, and maybe I'll come up there and visit you guys one of these okay. days you soon. Still want those eggs? Yes, please put them aside. Yeah, I want the eggs, and I want uh, I'll come get some of the sun choke. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, that was fun. All right. Hey, I want to show you guys what happened. I went back to buy my eggs. These are uh, all free, you know, like pasture raised. Beautiful eggs, they're huge. These are really good. These are like the large size. Usually when I get eggs from the farmer's market, they're kind of like that. So nice, beautiful eggs, great variety. And check it out, we didn't even talk about this. We got we got a punch card for eggs, dude. You keep coming back every week, you buy 10 dozen, you get one free. And I bought 18 packs, so you gave me two punches. So if you buy these, not only are you getting them for only 950 for the whole 18 pack, but you're also getting, you buy, five of these and then you get uh get one free i don't know if i get this free though i'll have to ask but seriously guys i mean what kind of re- place gives rewards like that you know it's amazing